I am so thrilled to introduce you to one of my favorite people on the planet. I'm Dr. Rachel Rubin. I'm a urologist with fellowship training in sexual medicine. I started a practice uh, in 2022 that caters towards comprehensive sexual medicine for all genders, and we deal with issues like libido, arousal, orgasm, and pain. Now, as a urologist, I am not a gynecologist, and I have always wanted to expand my practice to be as multidisciplinary and comprehensive as possible. Now, about a year ago, we hired Dr. Katherine Kloss, who has just made our practice even more wonderful. And then, a few months ago, I uh, started training an amazing doctor who was retiring from the military. She is a colonel, if you can believe it, and has years of experience as a urogynecologist. And she came to me and said, I would like more training specifically in sexual medicine. And she, we were able to set up an amazing fellowship experience with intensive training. Uh, and then of course I was like, you're so good, you're so smart, you're so incredible, can you please stay and work with us? And she said yes. And so after traveling all around the world, um, uh, starting in September of 2024, so just in about a few days from now, she is joining our practice. So I wanna introduce you to Dr. Christine Vaccaro, who is sitting next to me. Welcome, Dr. Vaccaro. Why don't you introduce yourself, tell everybody about what a urogynecologist is and what you are doing. Thank you, and I'm, I just can't say how excited and fortunate I am for this opportunity, and I'm thrilled to get going just a few days away. Um, but um, just as Rachel said, I'm Christine Vaccaro. I'm a double board certified and fellowship trained urogynecologist. What does that even mean? A urogynecologist basically takes what I think of as the best part of urology, which is the female parts, and gynecology and puts the two together. So I deal with um, bladder leakage issues, I deal with vaginal um, prolapse issues, I deal with um, fecal incontinence issues, pelvic pain issues, basically anything that's related to the pelvic floor from the musculature to the nerves to the organs themselves. Um, quality of life issues for women is what I deal with. And luckily, I got to have this extra training with Dr. Rachel Rubin on sexual medicine in my fellowship. There was a little component that I got, but I really needed to like throw myself in and really know that itty, nitty gritty, bits and pieces, all of the, all the things, including menopause um, medicine, which was, has been lacking in education over the past few decades. Um, so that was also something I got, which I'm very grateful for. And so we have appointments available. So we really want people to call us, reach out. And the magic of our practice is that we spend time with people. And so when you were in the military, you would see how many patients a day in your clinic? Well, because I was, I've been a lifelong educator and teacher. So I, was, I left as a fellowship director. And we, in the military, we actually get to spend quite a bit of time with our patients, but not as much time as I get to spend now with my patients. But it was um, 30 to 60 minutes per patient, which is very atypical, um, which is why I love military medicine, because we actually got to connect with patients, which is why this fits me so well. I get to continue to connect and make relationships and make sure our patients um, are heard and understood. And so we want, you deserve to invest in you and spend time with very, very smart, educated, knowledgeable people who want to invest in your quality of life and figure out what tools make sense for you because you are not like anybody else and you deserved a balanced, customized conversation. Mm -hmm. Is hormone therapy safe for me? What kind of hormone therapy should I take? What are my mm -hmm. options? Uh, if I want to improve my libido, arousal, or orgasm, what can I do? And the benefits of all of us in this practice is it's so fun to get to work together. We are constantly mm -hmm. discussing cases. We're constantly obsessed with new research, new ideas, new literature that comes out. And so we would love to see you in our office. We would love to work with you. And I am so grateful that Dr. Vaccaro is here to join us. Mutually.